If you're new to the project, a big warm welcome. If you're a tough old root, then welcome back. Today is about some life-changing news here on Steep in the Woods. You're watching Steep in the Woods. I'm Josh. I'm Celia. And this is our daughter, Ivy. Here at Steep in the Woods, we are 100% off-grid. We live on a 14-acre mountaintop homestead nestled deep in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina. Here on Steep in the Woods, we do totally off-grid on a shoestring budget. You'll see no fancy stuff here. It's just making do with what you have and what you can figure out. We're pregnant! <laughs> <laughs> We're pregnant. Yes, there is going to be another addition here. The addition of another child. Um, really came out of the blue, just like this one. But it is... A amazing blessing and it is a wonderful thing uh, I can't you know I can't be upset about it yeah I'm about eight weeks along hopefully we don't know the exact due date yet but Ivy here is gonna be a big sister we're gonna find out uh, how she does <laughs> I think she'll, she'll she'll be very motherly to, to to whatever it turns out to be we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet um, but it is a human and it's going to be our child. So obviously it's very surprising to us. Um, didn't like, like I say, we didn't plan it, but it is awesome. Uh, I am mainly super duper stressed out. Uh, it does change, change things. Unlike our first child, Ivy, I now know that it's not the end of the world. Uh, it is manageable. You could do it. And it's actually not all that big of a deal. Um, however, Three versus four uh, uh, does change a great many, many things. Most of our vehicles, uh, you know, if we have two uh, trucks. That's that. That's our go. That's our go-to here. Uh, they don't fit four people, so we're going to have to have another vehicle uh, that's four-wheel uh, drive, so that we could get up here and back out. Uh, that holds four people, as well as I designed the house for three people. So I've got to put on an addition to the house. We have to get a new, uh, uh, like some kind of a Jeep that's four-wheel drive. That'll be our, our new family car. Uh, I guess we'll also have to get more land because I don't want to split this one up. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very proud to, to have this much property and um, versus splitting it up into smaller pieces that are your more regular sized pieces of property for the children, I will just have to take it upon myself to get more so that everyone does have an impressive amount of land. So obviously there is a lot of things to be stressed out about. A lot of uh, raising a child is not easy. There's a lot of work involved, a lot of planning. But now that I know all of the good things, thanks to Ivy, we get to multiply that by two. It is the perfect timing, at least as far as Ivy goes. She's old enough now to where she can follow me, <laughs> you know, regardless of whatever I am uh, doing. If I'm working in the forge or if, or, or if we're uh, uh, milling up trees, she's old enough now to communicate to her. Uh, uh, you know, you, you have to stand here, you have to stand there, watch out, this is hot, that is sharp, um, which will come in, in, in very handy uh, because I'm sure Celia's time and Celia's energy will be taken up uh, uh, mostly for the next bit. What are you doing? With uh, uh, raising of the infant, and then it'll fall on me to, to, to watch Ivy more often. So I'm looking forward to it. It'll be really cool to be off grid and pregnant. Um, and also, you guys are going to get to see a really big pregnant lady working in the garden. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, I'm glad that the pregnancy didn't fall at a time where uh, labor could happen in the winter. However, it does fall at the perfect time to where right at the beginning of uh, winter when it's still uh, 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 warm and manageable to get out that uh, uh, we'll be bringing home an infant. So this winter has been doable, but it's also been stressful. We need to make sure that next, next winter everything is perfect. What? God, you're too cute with the friggin' pigtails. <laughs> Are you excited about being a sister? Yep. 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 Do you know that we're having a baby? Yep. Yep. No. No, she doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> As always, we appreciate everything that uh, you guys do, especially the members and our Australian sponsor. Um, but everyone plays a huge part here. This wouldn't be doable the way that we're doing it without you guys. 
So thank you so very much for all of your views, your watches, your thumbs up, everything. It is all truly amazing and it and it uh, takes a large weight off of my sh my shoulders knowing that such wonderful people are along for the journey with us. If you liked what you heard, hit that button. If you're new to the channel, hit that other button. If you want to help support the project, there are links below. We will see you all next time here, Steve in the Woods. <laughs>